welcome to the video about theming. We've made lots of tutorials how to move about and, and learn because right mouse click, no menu, there is no menu on the top, there is nothing really. It's all in keyboard shortcuts. Fine. Um, how to theme? Well, if we press super shift return, for instance, we have a file manager called Hunar. Can we change this blue? Can we change the icons and all that? Yeah, there is of course menus. There is Super Shift D for you guys. There is Super F12. There is Alt 2 for you. Alt F2 really. And Alt F3. So menus enough. But it's actually keyboard driven. What I intend to do mostly is Super Shift D because it's hidden there. It's, it's ready to type in. And what we do need is to remember one name. Alex Appearance. And Alex is enough. If you keep remembering that, that's super. So Alex Appearance, we did come it across in Openbox, in i3, in uh, also I think as well. So we can set with this application what theme we want. And let's go for a red kind of theme. And let's go for, where was it again? The Punch Dark, that's a nice red that I came across again with Rofi themes that I created just uh, yesterday and it's a nice red I like. Okay, fine. What about um, coloring? You can't do anything here, so don't worry, neither can I. I can theme. We choose something that has some relevance with the color, something that goes with it, and we have installed the Sardi extra icons. We have now 120 choices of icons. Normally it's around 20 I believe. So we have now lots of more choices depending on the wallpaper, your mood, uh, the look, etc. etc. I'm gonna go for this one, the vampire. I created these icons, so can you, with the scripts on Sardi, uh, with uh, some help well, on erdubois.pe, you can create these things. And this was uh, created because there was a wallpaper coming in from Variety with beautiful vampire stuff, all black, grey and the vampire in red, lots of blood. And I made these icons to match the wallpaper. It's that easy. It's running a script, change it. Five minutes later, you have it. So I wanna have this one. And the mouse cursor is for me okay. You could change this to something else. But since I often have dark themes, white is best. And some font aliasing stuff, maybe you would like to reset here. And then you apply. And then the best thing to do is not say, I'm gonna kill Tunar and I'm gonna run Tunar again. That is good if it works, but often I just log out and log in and see uh, what changes and everything, every application that I've changed gets its own chance to run again, to load it up again. So everything is okay. We, we see that the red thing is applied and we have now these icons in here, Control H, gives us these icons and that's fine, that's good. Now, you might think that maybe, in my case, that the font can be altered too because it can be too small from time to time. So again, to Alex appearance, there was this little thing we skipped and that's the default font. So you could try out other fonts as well. So there's lots of things in here and here's your slider and go all geeky with terminus, italic and bold and all that. There's also even Star Jedi regular. That's because of our conkeys. So if you really want to install a conkey, then we have already the fonts for it. So one, 12, let's take 12, but let's take, uh, do a cancel first. I wanna keep the not all sounds regular and take for go for a 12 this is 12 apply it's not applied here killing this killing this opening up again and my font is a little bit bigger it helps me to read and voila there it is so this concludes our tutorial we can change themes icons cursors fonts and we uh, tackle other things in the next tutorial